Now, there's somebody here today to show you an eye-opening demonstration about the water we drink and this remarkable machine from Japan. His name is Bob Gridelli. Hey, Bobby. Thanks for stopping by. Hey, thank you, Pat. Why don't you take over? Great, I will. So I want to welcome everybody, and I'm going to go into the demonstration here, and I'm going to show you the three unique properties of this water and why it's so very special. The first property I'm going to show you is uh, what's called the ORP, which stands for the Oxidation Reduction Potential. And we're going to show you that with a meter that shows whether a liquid has a positive ORP or a negative ORP. And if it has a positive ORP, that means it's bad for you, or it's oxidizing, or aging, or rusting. We all know what that is, right? And so if it has a negative ORP, that's what makes it a powerful antioxidant. So what we're going to do right now is I'm going to pour some of these liquids first. And we're going to start with the Sani. And these are, we just put together an array of liquids that most people drink, right? Did you drink any of this? The Sani? How about Aquafina? Yes, I think I used to drink all of these. And how about smart water? Yes? I'm a holistic doctor. You're a holistic doctor, okay. I'll show you what I call it in a little bit. How about the Arrowhead sparkling water? Yes, anyone like that water? They have different flavors. That's why I kind of like those, all the flavors. Actually, this was my favorite water. It's called the Live. In a second, you'll see what I call it. <laughs> How about sports drinks, Gatorades? Yeah. Oh, boy. Yes, everybody like those? I used to drink a lot of sports drinks because, you know, you see athletes drinking it, so it must be good for us. Mm -hmm. How about sodas? Do any of you drink sodas? <laughs> okay, and this is just tap water. Anybody drink tap water? And then this is Kangen water. Okay, so this is the pinpoint ORP meter. Now we're going to test the ORP of the Dasani. So notice Dasani is over 215 right now. Now we go to the Aquafina. How's the Aquafina? Two, we'll go over 220 and climbing. How about the Smart Water? Over 230 and climbing. How about Arrowhead? Over 315 and climbing, getting worse. Alive Water. This was one of my favorite ones. 400, now I call it dead water. <laughs> How about Gatorade? Any of you drink Gatorade? Mm -hmm. Like 393 and climbing. Wow. So remember, the, worse, the more positive it is, the worse it is. How about 7-Up? Now, all sodas are pretty much the same, just we use a, a light colored. So you'll see 394 and climbing. How about the tap water? 325. Here's the star of the show, you guys. <laughs> Look at negative what? Four over ne negative 400. Wow. Now with negative 426, so as you can see, when it has a negative, this is the only water that has a negative. That's why they call it negative water in Japan. That's why they use it in hospitals over there, because all the positive ones are oxidizing, aging, rusting, bad you know, internally on the body. But the negative water is neutralizing the free radicals, so that's why we want to drink this water and hydrate your body on a regular basis.